it's time to demonstrate, you know, the Integra. And Francesco is going to help us again with the demo on the machine. He decided to start with a Alu D bone. So he placed the material over the table, turning on the suction on, setting on the size of the crop marks, and loading the file. Now, the machine will be placed on the first crop marks, acquired as a position to start from, and automatically the machine will start detecting the second crop marks, the third one and the fourth one, in case we have four crop marks. Now, to make it simple, this job is divided in two parts, bottom and top, and we decided to do only the bottom part. Now, we start from a condition that Francesco has to mount, you know, the, the tool that is supposed to do the process, which is the router. See how easy it is to fit, you know, the router into the machine. Tool in, up to the end, suction in, tool in, connection, connecting, you know, the IOs into its position, locking the tool and locking the suction. Very, very simple. Now Francesco will need to place, you know, the suction flange underneath which work as a protection and to improve you know, the suction of dust that the router will produce. Finally, it's going to mount you know, the safety protection in front of the cutting assembly, the head assembly. Now Francesco is ready to go. He has already chosen you know, the material and the tool will go to the far right to measure the length of the cutter. Once you know, the software has determined the right length of the cutter, it's ready to start processing the job. Together with the material, Francesco has already determined the speed of the machine, both speed, linear and the speed the machine will use to flange into the material. Now it's only a matter to leave you know, the machine doing all the contour cut to the door uh, signage. So it's done you know, the full job which we decided to do and Francesco turning you know, the suction on, remove you know, one kind of job, clean the edges and show to us. The second job of the demo of the Integra is a plexiglass uh, sheet. As for the other one, we still need to use the router. So, simple, importing the file, moving towards you know, to the first crown marks, acquiring the position of the first and let the machine does the rest with the second, third and fourth one. It's important to underline that the job comes from a vector file created with Illustrator, but this could have been done with Corel Draw or other, you know, vector, vector, you know, software. We, uh, Francesco has performed, you know, the machine has performed as the first time, you know, the tune length, you know, measure, and now it's loading the file. The time it takes to load the file, it depends on the complexity of the job, so it might differ from for a few seconds. Now the machine is doing the same job, it's milling the contour cut <coughs> on the plexiglass. Starting always from the farthest point to the origin to make you know, the entire process uh, much more uh, faster and more logical. So top right, which is the farthest point, moving towards the bottom left. And again, the time it takes, it depends on the complexity of the job and the number of the job you have placed uh, on the material. Also, the speed of the machine is limited by the material. Not all of the material can benefit of the full speed of the machine. Because our goal is always to reach you know, the best you know, final result in terms of quality. So we're almost at the end of the performance. And as soon as the machine will finish, Francesco will repeat the same operation, releasing the suction and removing the material. As you can see, the suction has cleaned almost everything and the table did not show any sign of dust. The third job we had planned to do with the router is a forex uh, cut. So this is a one centimeter forex. Francesco is repeating, loading the file, selecting the diameter of the cutter, to perform, you know, as its best, setting, you know, as you can see, a kind of you know, a kind of tool for the internal process and the external process, and the machine will perform, you know, the same operation: crop marks first, 
to length to be ready to process you know these uh, small totem as for the other one we will not do all the job because we want to make it you know this a bit you know faster and do not bother people showing the entire process and um, I have to repeat you know that the speed of the machine follow the material so we cannot expect to have you know always the same performance if we want to achieve the best you know quality of the product um, something we have not seen and we will see later on looking on the on the funnel that control you know the suction Francesco has also the ability like for every Maliani machine to open or close see on the bottom right where you have that air tap depending if the size of the table of the material Francesco can open more or less zone to implement or to have a better suction on the material and do not waste power on the entire table again the job is done Francesco is removing all the material and he's assemble you know the small totem four job the four job is been done on honeycomb cardboard. Francesco has changed you know, the slip sheet for a better suction and he has placed you know, the material over the table. Suction on. In that case we're not gonna read any crop marks. We're simply gonna perform you know, a cutting, a V cut and a cut through. The machine will start doing the V cut on each point, each line that are supposed to be fold. This operation, because of the thickness of the material, which is over than one centimeter, and the strength of the material, require a reduce of speed. Then, finally, I will perform you know, the outside cut using the oscillating knife, which is a tool that has a, an oscillating knife that allows you know, to do a quality, you know, an high quality result on any thickness, up to two centimeter. The job is being done. And Francesco will remove you know, the V cut to clean on the bottom and on the top. And now, once it's finished, it will start folding the POS, the point of put, you know, the point of sale display. As you can see, it was easier for the machine to cut rather than you know assembling everything. Done, that part is done. It's gonna place you know the locker behind and our point of you know sales is ready to go that could be for a production or for a sample as to to be proved by your customer the fifth job of the day is a packaging francesco is turning all the vacuum on suction on loading the file which is gonna be uh, boxes made on a um, corrugated cardboard uh, in this case it's a flute e so it's a roughly about 1.8 centimeter thick. Now we decided to show you how easy it is to change, you know, completely the configuration of the machine. We started from the last job where we have, you know, the V-cut tool and the oscillating knife. Now Francesco has removed, you know, the first tool and he's placing the creasing wheel, locking the creasing wheel in position. And he will repeat, you know, the same operation with the oscillating knife. It's gonna remove, you know, the oscillating knife, disconnect the RIOs, and fit, you know, the drag knife, which is more indicated for this kind of job. It can perform faster than the other one. It was a job that took him, you know, less than a minute, and he has completely changed, you know, the machine configuration. So not an impossible operation, not something that requires hours or, you know, um, particular skill. Now, the machine has been faster than me and he has already performed you know, the creasing on the material. And now it's time you know, to cut you know, the external. So in that case, you know, with the drag knife, we can go full speed because we don't have to follow the oscillation movement of the other tool. So at the end, the purpose of this job is to have you know, a sample of uh, boxes to have you know, confirmation of the, the good job we have done projecting the box you know, from scratch and to get the approval of the customer. It's almost at the end. That's the last part. 
Francesco is releasing the suction, turning the pump off, removing the wastage, and now he start to fold all the parts to get the box done. Tray is done, cover is done, closing and showing to us. Thanks again to Francesco for the very good job and thanks to Integra that did the most of the job.